Lightning is a giant spark of electricity in the atmosphere between clouds of the air or the ground. In the early stages of development, air acts as an insulator between the positive and negative charges in the cloud, and between the cloud and the ground. When the opposite charges build up enough, this insulating capacity of the air breaks down and there is a rapid discharge of electricity that we know as lightning. The flash of lightning temporarily equalizes the charge regions in the atmosphere, until the opposite charges build up again. Thunderstorms always have lightning. Thunder is caused by lightning and you can't have a thunderstorm without thunder, but you can have lightning without a thunderstorm. Lightning can also be seen in volcanic eruptions, extremely intense forest fires, surface nuclear detonations and in heavy snowstorms. As rare as it is to be hit by lightning, there's a guy that's been struck seven times. Roy Sullivan was a US park ranger in Virginia. Between 1942 and 1977, he survived seven lightning strikes. All seven were documented and together described the terrifying attraction lightning seemed to have for Paul Sullivan. His second hit was while he was in his truck which used the axe as a Faraday cage, diverting the electricity into the ground. His fourth hit was when he was inside a ranger station in the national park, while his fifth and sixth hits came from a small cloud that he swore was following him. Saving the craziest for last, his seventh hit was while he was fishing. After being hit by a bolt, he had to fight off a bear who ran out of the woods. The bear's intention was stealing the recently caught fish. When lightning strikes, here's some things you should do. It's best to get as low to the ground as possible. You don't want to be the tallest thing around in a thunderstorm. If there's no shelter available, it's best to find a low spot, somewhere like a ditch. Noah recommends that when heading out for an activity when thunderstorms will be in the area, Avoid places like fields at the top of hills. While being inside a car is not as safe as a building, it's a safer option than staying outside. Common myths regarding cars and lightning is that the rubber from the tires or gasket around the windshields keep you safe, but that's not necessarily true. While a car provides some protection from lightning as the metal frame directs lightning currents to the ground, cars can still be damaged by a strike. Lightning damage to a car includes burning, along with electrical system issues. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.